I'm going to show you the Lord. First and foremost, before we dive this lesson, giving an honor and glory and praise due to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kapadash, the Bible's a great man, so I don't pass the teaching with well. Peace, salutations to the Lord for the this guy abroad, like that in the nation, Shalom, Shalom, and the Shalom to sincere Akim, that's out there making a body, a little sacrifice, going out there in the highways, byways, and hedges, proclaiming this truth, and teaching the 100% truth. Keep doing so to those who may be. Shalom, Shalom. Okay. <clears throat> And uh, uh Shalawan to the Sarah Kwathium, that's out there resting their husbands, spin the pillow and rest, keep doing so to those who may be. Shalawan, Shalawan, and Shalawan to those that's tuning in to this quick little lesson okay, in the power and spirit of Yahweh Shmi Al Shai. Okay, so today's lesson is going over 2,000, nearly 2,000 earthquakes shake Cancun, uh, Canada's Vancouver Island in one day, hint a birth of a new ocean crust, you know. But, you know, the reason for this is because. <clears throat> The Lord did say that there's going to be earthquakes in diverse places, okay? And these are the things to be looking out for in these last days because this is what Yahweh Shai told the disciples or the apostles to look out for in the last days, okay? So, <clears throat> it says, uh, Canada's vibrant Vancouver Island was shook by almost 2,000 tremors in a single day earlier this month, and some digging around the coast has... Has revealed that this isn't the own. This isn't a concern, cause for concern. Rather, a profound geological process that involves the birth of a new ocean floor in the area. Earlier this month, the Endeavor site, located roughly 240 kilometers offshore, situated on the Juan de Fuca Ridge, experienced a remarkable earthquake swarm in a single day. Unlike the powerful earthquakes that can devastate coastal regions, these tremors are relatively small, registering mostly below a magnitude of one. Okay, so, you know, the point being is, you know, earthquakes in diverse places, but 2,000 earthquakes in one day, you know, that's something you got to be like, God damn, you know. It, but these are the things to be looking out for in these last days, all right? So... Uh, we're just going to get a couple scriptures then sign them off, all right? We're going to get the book of Habakkuk, okay? Book of Habakkuk. Where is it at? Book of Habakkuk 2 and verse 2. And it says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may read, run that readeth it. Okay, what is the vision, these prophecies, these these scriptures, okay, that we should, we read and we can vision this, these things happening. And, you know, the Lord did say he's going to pour his, um, his spirit upon all flesh that um, men and women should dream dreams, man, okay? So, and it says, for the vision is yet for a point of time, but that at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come and will not tarry, right? So these prophecies that the Lord promised was going to happen over 2,000 years ago, they are now coming to fruition, okay? Because hey, <clears throat> the Lord told the apostles that um, these are the things you should be looking out for in the last days, okay? Earthquakes in diverse places, okay? And it says, um, well, that's it on that. Now you go into the book of Isaiah 55, okay, concerning prophecies once again. Because what is the, I'm going to get this one in Revelation 19, because what is the spirit of the Lord? Okay, spirit of the Habash Shai. This is uh, Revelation 19 in verse, um, where is it at? This, verse 10, this is Revelation 19 to 10. And it says, And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that had the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Right. So we are all to be in the spirit of prophecy. Okay. So that's why we go into these things. We see these things. We do a lesson, a video on this because hey, these were prophecies spoken by Yahweh Shai over 2,000 years ago. Okay, and they are coming to pass in our lifetime. All right, so going back into Isaiah 55, all right, Isaiah 55 in verse uh, 
10, and it says, For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and make it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, and it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. Right. So, this is, this is basically the Lord talking about the weather, you know, how it went rain, storm is coming through, okay, or when the uh, uh, snow is falling from the from uh on the sky, okay, hey, it falls on the it falls to the ground, it don't comes back to the Lord, okay, because it's already set a stone for it to already to fall in place, okay, so <clears throat> the point being is these uh this is uh, likened to prophecies, okay, because hey these things are what faithful and true. Okay, these things are written to come to pass. All right, because you go into the book of Second Ezra, fifteen. All right, fifteen. This is uh Second Ezra fifteen and verse one. He says, "Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, the words of prophecy." Okay, because that is the spirit of the Habashim Oshai, the spirit of prophecy. You know, said, "Which I will put in thy mouth," saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Right, so. These scriptures, these these words are written in the scriptures, and they are faithful and true, okay? Because they are going to come to pass, all right? So, that's why it says they are faithful and true, all right? We went to Habakkuk 9, I mean, uh, 2, where it says <clears throat> that the vision is yet for a point of time, okay? That point of time is what? Uh, basically, the time for them to come to pass, all right? So, uh, let's get... Um, what were we yet? We was uh we were just in Isaiah that because I'm rolling through the spirit. It's a lot here. Uh, let's get Matthew twenty four and then you know, end it on that. Just a quick hit little lesson. Uh this is um Matthew twenty four and um I'm gonna start at verse one. And Yahweh went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him. For to shew him the buildings of the temple, and Yahweh said unto them, See, see ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There should not be left here one stone upon another that should not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming in the end of the world? Right. So the disciples asked. How should, how can we know to expect the end of the world? Okay, how we should, how, what things we should be looking out for before thy coming? Okay, because hey, no man and no man knows when Yahweh Shah is coming back. No angel knows when he's coming back. All right, only Yahweh Himself knows when Yahweh Shah is coming back. All right, and it says, <clears throat> um, and Yahweh Shah answered, said unto them. Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach Yahweh and shall deceive many. You having that happening within the earth, okay? False prophets. And it says, and yea, ye shall, ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right. You seeing what's happening with, uh, you know, over there in Ukraine. You know, you just had Putin come out and say something that he's ready to nuke the West. All right. Those are rumors of wars. OK. And it says this is not the end yet. OK. Those are the things to be looking out for. The, 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 for those are the things to look out for before you have a shot's return base. All right. This is uh, verse seven. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, right? So these things are happening in the earth, all right? So the spirit of the Lord is the spirit of prophecy, okay? And we are all to be into these things. That's why I did a lesson earlier entitled, What Matter of Person You Ought to Be in These Last Days. So I'm going to get it again through the spirit of Second Peter uh, 3, verse 10. Uh, verse 11, and it says, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, 
What matter of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasten unto the coming of the day of Yahweh by Shemi Abishai, wherein the heavens being on fire and shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Okay, so what matter of person you ought to be? You should be ought to be in the spirit of prophecy, following in the spirit of Yahweh by Shemi Abishai. So, Kai, this been this lesson, short little lesson going into, you know, this article, giving no honor, no glory, no praise due to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Akakadash. Till next time, till next video, Shalom, Kamashurah, Badabah.